let's take a look at this problem. We've got one fifth log x minus three log y minus one half two log x minus log y. Now we uh, follow our order of operations, which says do what's inside the parentheses. So I'm going to take this 3 and put it as a power. I'll take this 2 and put it as a power. Remember, we can't use any of the other properties until we get rid of the numbers in front of the logs. So we've got 1 fifth log x minus log y to the third minus 1 half and then log x squared minus log y. Now if I'm looking at just what's inside the parentheses, now that I've gotten rid of the numbers in front of the logs, um, we got log of something minus log of something. Subtraction becomes division. So we got one-fifth log x over y to the third minus one-half log x squared over y. I notice I um, when I rewrote rewrote those into a single log, I got rid of the parentheses. Uh, parentheses aren't necessary if you just have a single log. Now, before we can combine these together, we need to get rid of the numbers in front of the logs. So I'll take this one-fifth and put it as a power. I'll take this one-half and put it as a power. So we're going to have log x over y to the third to the one-fifth power minus log x squared over y to the one-half power. <clears throat> now i got log of something minus log of something. Subtraction becomes division. So this is going to become log x over y to the third to the one-fifth power over x squared over y to the one-half. Different ways you could simplify this. Uh, you could just uh, put these into radical form. So this would be the fifth root of x over y to the third all over the square root of x squared over y. That's one method. Another method is we could simplify it using exponents. If everything inside your parentheses is either multiplication or division, you're raising it to a power, you can take everything to that power. So we can take the x to the one-fifth power, and we can take the y to the third to the one-fifth power. Now on the bottom part here, I can take the x squared to the one-half power, and I can take the y to the one-half power. <clears throat> which gives us log x to one fifth over y to the three fifths all over uh, when you raise one exponent to another exponent you multiply them two times one half is one so it goes away and we've got x over y to the one half well if you got a um, single fraction down denominator, you can flip it and multiply it times your top part. So this is going to become x to the one-fifth over y to the three-fifths times y to the one-half over x. Which then gives us log x to the one-fifth y to the one-half over y to the three-fifths a little bit better. There we go. X to the, the um, first power. Okay. Well, we're going to do a little bit of simplifying. And uh, in order to do that, uh, we need to get common denominators. Now, if I look at the x's, I got x to one fifth and I got x to the first power. I can rewrite each of those with the one fifth um, as a denominator. So that'd be x, and I'll rearrange this, and I'll put x to the five over five here. Because 5 divided by 5 is 1. Now, y to the 1 half and y to the 3 fifths. Common denominator would be 10. So I rewrite this as y to the 5 tenths 
And now we write this as y to the six tenths. Double check all that. Yeah. Okay. Well, now if you have x to a power over x to a power, you subtract a smaller exponent from a larger one. 5 fifths minus 1 fifth gives us 4 fifths. So we'll have x to 4 fifths where our larger exponent was, which was on the bottom. Now here we have y to the 5 tenths and y to the 6 tenths. Uh, again, I'm going to subtract a smaller exponent from a larger one. 6 tenths minus 5 tenths is 1 tenth, and we'll have y to the 1 tenth where our larger exponent was, which is on the bottom. And then we have a 1 there. We could put it back in a radical form, um, but that's that's our simplified as we can get it. Now I am curious for this particular problem. Um, how I how I wrote the answer in the key, so I'm going to look real quick here. This is kind of a, ch a little bit of a challenging one. Okay, I left it in that form, which would be fine. Um, you don't have to go to all the, the form I did there. So this this is what, how I left the answer. 